Hello everybody, my name's John, welcome to my channel. Today we have the continuing saga of the tire ballooning. Um, this is the one that I didn't uh, complete on Monday's video because the glue that I'd purchased, the epoxy glue from Gorilla, was useless to say the very least. Um, I'll put in, while editing, I'll put the uh, video in the top corner so you can see how badly that went. So I've been to the uh, local shop today and tried to pick up other types of glue, all the ones that were recommended by you guys, and couldn't get hold of them. So the only way to get that is to order it on Amazon, so I will be doing that. But for now, I've been recommended these two. One is the gel, one is just the normal super glue. They're both super glue, but this is just the normal one. This one actually comes with a handy little brush. wonder how long that brush is going to be soft for before it goes rock hard. It's being dipped in super glue. Oh, there you go. My only concern with these is they are fast setting within 10 seconds. Ooh, that's going to be really hard to do. So, what I will do is update you. I've taken all of the glue off this diddy diddy little one. And this is still the one with... The, uh, that's actually the one from Monday. So this is the one with the um, Gorilla tape inside to stop the ballooning happening. So I'm gonna, I think I'll put, hmm, I'll put that one on this one to test to see if it works. Uh, that's, that's not today's video, that's just a little extra. This is today's video, which is the JLB um, Cheetah tire, this big thing. Uh, I have, already sanded it and I will quickly blast through that now. Okay. And then uh, I've already put the tape on. The reason I put the tape on not in front of camera because it's not that hard it's tape so you know you don't need to be worried about that whatsoever i put one row of tape here and the other row of tape on top where the join is i've done the join on the other side where is it is the join so good oh, there's the the join there on the other side so just try and make sure that they're pretty much opposite just just if there's any little balancing issues uh pushed it down and then on the top one, I haven't pushed this yet because I just wanted to show you how to do it. Let me just make sure that this is in focus. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Cool. So, there's a few places it's already stuck down, specifically there. So, just try and do it like this. So it's as even as possible. It's not going to be perfect. Okay, but then when you get to a certain point, you can just go around like this. Now, I don't know how much this is going to go up the side wall. I hope it's not going to be too much. If it's too much, I'm going to have to redo all of this again because up on the side wall, it's not going to do any help and just could cause problems. So let's just push this in for now. Cool. And you see that I've done it the other side. I'm really not looking forward to putting all of this back together because this tire is tough, to say the very least. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, remember that this also has to go in. So once the tire's in place, I'm gonna have to try and, because if I do that now, will I be able to? Oh, what do you reckon? Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. I will have to just force that in afterwards. Oh, this is going to be tough, isn't it? Right, let's just get on with it. Of course, yesterday when I took this off, it, we already had the benefit of it um, being hot with the hot water. This is going to be tough. Because you've got to get that one. Ooh. Come on. Nobody put Benny Hill music over this, please, because I will not be amused. Yeah. Ugh. Holy baloney. I'm glad I've got gorilla tape on this. Come on. Oh, 
Ta-da! Oh. Right, now it's in position. I'm taking the turn time to go around and push all of the Gorilla Tape back down. It's actually not come off. I expected that to cause it to come off, but it's not. So I'm just putting my fingers down. Running around. Oh, did I knock that? Sorry about that. Around and making sure that it's down. Right. I really thought that was going to work. Damn it. <clears throat> I'm not going to get that in. Oh no. Oh no. I suppose it is foam. It is going to compress itself, isn't it? Come on. Ooh. It turns out that this tyre ballooning it's quite an irritating thing for a lot of people and I can see why because you're, you're losing performance when your tires balloon up right now I have to make sure that it's fully in position how 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 not fully in position is it so this part is a little bit boring for you guys watching because you can't see inside and quite frankly nor can I all I'm doing is if you imagine that it feels like the foam's here I'm pushing my finger in to force the foam back and as my fingers coming out I'm feeling the foam coming back so that should be doing the job and there you go you can see it's come back come on on this side that's better oh that's good I like that now the actual putting it in let me just put this underneath for a sec. I said the gel on this one, didn't I? So, let me just read the instructions. Good, got that. No way. I'm just making sure that the foam's on the other side because obviously once this is on it's not coming off again. Hopefully, unless the glue's really bad, I'm gonna quickly see. Protect work area from seals. Ta-da! Clean and dry surfaces to be bonded. Me. With cap on bottle, turn upside down, shake vigorously, and tap on a hard surface to shift the gel to the nozzle. How vigorously? It didn't say. Okay. Apply only a small amount. Yeah, right. Okay, let's move on. Only one drop per six and a half squ uh, centimeters squared. There's right, loads of drops. Press the two surfaces together for between 10 to 45 seconds. Wait 24 hours for full cure. Oh. Well, I won't be testing this a little bit later then, will I? Okay. Let's open this up. So. What do you reckon? Oh, it is gel. I mean, I knew it was gel. Don't get me wrong. But it's like thick gel. After learning from my own mistakes, I suggest that you break it into quarters. Um, do one quarter to put it in position and let it dry, then move on to the next one. Or else it's just too difficult to do it in one go. You'll see why now. 
Um, I know that we've got the time restraint, but I'm not going to go rushing this. This has to be done properly first time. I had some guy on the on the YouTube this morning in the comments section calling me a I was wearing a mask in Malta. Number one, it's kind of really important, isn't it? Number two, I'll get a fine if I don't wear a mask. 800 euros, I think the fine is at the minute. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, that really did work quickly, didn't it? Jesus. I'm happy with that. My fingers are sticking already. Can't be empty already, surely. Look at that, it looks almost empty. Fifteen grams doesn't go very far, does it? Okay, well, I mean, it's obvious now that I'm going to have to wait until tomorrow to do the actual video recording of the, uh, the tyre on the wheel. Tyre on the wheel. Tyre on the car, maybe, is a better thing to say. Because um, we have to give it enough chance. Why is it that it's stuck, stuck to everything so damn quickly? See that? That's a little bit frustrating, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to wait for that to dry and then I'm probably going to pull that off again and re-glue it because I'm not happy with that. Ironically, I have some of this tape. Now I'm going to let that dry and we shall move on to the Diddy one. I'm putting this on ready to go quickly. So let's see how this one works, shall we? Ha ha ha! What a smart design! Oh. 
Very good. I know you're really glue. So, let's do what we did with the, uh, the other Gorilla Epoxy yesterday. Do one side. No, sorry. One side at a time. That was easier, wasn't it? So it's already stuck. Good. There we go then. So that tire there. This one here. And we will wait until tomorrow. I will be also just pulling this back a little bit and just seeing if the, the rear of this needs doing. I, I'm not looking forward to pulling this edge back up again to, to redo that. But there is no way to, to avoid that. This is flush down. And this side, as you can see, has got that lip there. So I obviously didn't get it in hard enough before it dried. So I'll just pull it up again, break the seal and... Uh, just put a little bit more of that one on and then uh, let it cure for 24 hours so oof, it's gonna be a long time isn't it wow 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 does it have to be yeah fulfill full cure so it's it's pointless just to try to attempt this at too quick too early because that's not giving uh, the glue fair chance is it so I will see you tomorrow in about 23 hours. I'm not going to do 24 though, do 23 hours. Welcome back everybody. And as you can see by the setup, we are ready to test the cheetah wheel that has had the uh, Gorilla Tape built into it. I have fixed that edge that I was talking about before. I hope it's going to hold. Um, it was really hard to get this glue off, which is a good sign. Um, and as you can see by all of this Gorilla Tape, I'm taking no chances with this thing. When I press record, I'm moving well back behind the wall and go in because I imagine that one of these is going to go... <laughs> I hope not, but you know, it could happen. So, this is the one with the Gorilla Tape, this is the one without. Let's get on.
Okay, welcome back. I'm not gonna lie. I was a little bit petrified then. Holy crap, did you see that tire? I thought at some point it was gonna hit this one. But one thing that is 100% confirmed is that the Gorilla Tape inside works, doesn't it? Absolutely fabulous. Now, I'm never gonna do this setup again with this car because believe it or not, this tire doing that was at half throttle. Can you imagine what would happen if I did it at full throttle? I mean, I'm gonna obviously try it at some point in the future, but I'm not going to be trying it today. Certainly not within the studio, put it that way. Um, okay, why we're still here, and because I want to finish off yesterday's video as well, I've got the, um, the smaller tire ready to go, so let me just tidy up, and then we'll get on with the next part. Okay, welcome back. Here we go. This is the tire with the... Which one did we use? I think we used the brush one on this, didn't we? The uh, Gorilla Goo. G -g 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 what is it made with Gorilla and Goo? Gorilla Glue Gel. And this is just an original tire that I'd put on because obviously all of the other ones are a bit naff. So, let's see. Uh, I have, just for those that were wondering, I've taken the servo out of the ESC because um, I obviously didn't want to put stress on it while I was doing this. That's definitely expanding. That one, not as much as what it does without um, the tape inside. But it was a little bit more than yesterday, I think. Or maybe it was just because I've just been absolutely scared senseless by the cheetah tire. Seems very loose, doesn't it? Ah, well, okay. All right, I'm gonna put it into slow motion and then we can have a detailed look. Okay, welcome back, and there you have it, ladies and gents. That did in fact work, the uh, Gorilla Glue. Um, so, as you know, the whole point of this video was, does this one help with the cheetah tire um, to stop it ballooning out? And I think I've never actually come to such a conclusive dis or sort of decision at the end, because, oops, we'll just ignore that. I didn't leave that all connected, okay? Edit that, rewind. Um, I, I have to admit, I did not think it would be that effective. Uh, I knew on this one it would be effective because it's a smaller tire, but obviously that one's a much chunkier tire, and most importantly, it's got a really, uh, it's really wide. So I expected the rubber still to find some sort of way to sort of pull itself out, but it didn't at all. It pretty much stayed in the position and the shape that it, was in. Come on, you beast. So, I mean, uh, as I said before, you have to remember that this one came out to about here. This one may be there, if that. So, does it work? Without doubt, my God. And the one thing that I always notice when I'm driving this car is the, the ballooning, because it is such a, an obvious thing. And as soon as you get to half speed, you've lost control of the car completely. So one of my videos in the next few days, uh, n not next few days actually, because while this stuff does work a lot better, this edge here I'm not happy with still. So to try and do it on all three tires uh, is going to be an absolute nightmare. So thank you once again to the people commenting on the videos because I think it was Hobby King have the proper 
tire adhesive so I'm going to get some of that ordered and, and do all of that properly but without doubt come on you, you can't say the, the, the results don't speak for themselves I, I, I that was fab, absolutely fabulous I love it I love that something so simple so cheap has made such a difference with these tires and I will actually use this car a lot more now that it isn't doing that crazy I don't have control uh, thing that it keeps on doing so I hope you like this video. I, I really do. It's taken me ages to do and <laughs> a lot of fun though, except for the last bit. As I said, when this is on its side and that wheel is going around, petrifying. So if you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel as well and hit that notification bell and click down to all so you're alerted of all my videos and I wish you a fantastic day today. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.